All right, many, many people who are newbies to business struggle because they all make the same mistake. They think like employees. That's because, very, very likely, they've been an employee for their entire working career, years. <laughs> Without taking anything away from employees, I mean, hey, we need them, right? We need people to keep all of this moving <laughs> society together, right? Employees play a crucial role, but without taking anything away from them, the employee mindset is like a world, a universe away, completely different from a business or from an entrepreneur's mindset. We've got to untangle all of this. We've got to get to the bottom of this. How's it going, my friend? I'm Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. Here, it's all about escaping the grind, building a fulfilling online business, and launching a better tomorrow. I think the biggest challenge, again, from my perspective, from my point of view, is this shift in mindset, shift in beliefs, understanding what business is really truly all about and the purpose of business and products and what customers want. It's a whole heck of a lot to untangle. This is why I've put together for you a free online business jumpstart guide. This is like a business and marketing fast track. This free, easy to follow, downloadable PDF guide gives you a solid foundation and blueprint for you and your online business. This guide gives you a step-by-step -step checklist to go from where you are right now to building your fulfilling and profitable business online. This is the same business model that I use, that countless others use once they start shifting this mindset, right? That's what it's all about. Go ahead and grab your free guide right now while you can over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. Okay, so first, let's explore the employee mindset. You and I are both very familiar with this mindset because that's the world that we came from, right? Maybe you're still there and wanting to escape. Who knows? But let's start here. What are employees concerned about most? What is the biggest issue, the biggest concern that employees have? Employees are concerned with their needs first. How much do I get paid? When will I get vacation time? Is it paid vacation time? Do I have any job benefits? How long is it until Friday? <laughs> when do I get off work? Again, that is perfectly fine, but this is one worldview. This is one particular mindset. But interestingly, my friend, when people begin having those first inklings, those business ambitions that begin to grow and grow, they want to fire their boss, they want to take that leap and start their own business, the biggest challenge is that their mindset is still that of an employee, although it may shift a little bit, partly becoming what I call the mindset of an artist. The mindset of an artist? What the heck is the mindset of an artist? What the heck are we talking about here? Well, we both know this, that an artist specifically wants to produce things, wants to produce work that they want to produce. They want to create things that fill their needs first. Whether it's a writer or a painter or a musician, any kind of artistic creative endeavor exists because it fills the creator's needs first. And when they're not doing that, they're sitting around pontificating about what it all means. And I, I want to say the word existential. Now, how does this relate to you and your business endeavors and all that great stuff? Well, not surprisingly, many business newbies struggle just like artists struggle. And that's because both mindsets are centered around serving their needs first, their need to quit their job, their need to fire their boss, their need to do whatever it is that they want to do all day long. What is missing here? What is missing from this equation? Paying customers, you know, people who actually spend money on products and services. I'll tell you, I get myself into trouble all the time for saying this, but it is the truth. Whatever it is that artists and creative types and musicians and again, other creative types of people, whatever it is that they produce, paintings, sculptures, songs, whatever it is, is a product. At the end of the day, it's a product. It's either a product a tax write-off or a cover for money laundering. <laughs> but here we're talking about products. Yes, every great work of fiction, every piece of art, every song that's ever been written, any piece of film or cinema is all at the end of the day, a product. It's a product because the person who created it wants other people to consume it and they wanna get paid for that. Now, most importantly, you've gotta get clear on exactly what a product or a service 
usually I just say products, but that includes services, we've got to get clear on what this really truly is. A product is not something that sits on a shelf in a store. A product or a service is a solution to a nagging, difficult, complex, and sometimes frustrating problem that someone else has. We've really got to unpack this more for you so you really truly understand what all this means for you and for your business and for the products you're going to be offering. But first, if you're serious about taking the next big steps forward with your online business, then here's what to do. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free. Now there you will find an online business workshop. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop. We're going to shatter apart the biggest, nastiest myths about how business really truly works. We're going to get to the bottom of it all. You're going to find out what your competition really truly means for you and for your business endeavors and what your customers, the audience, the market that you want to serve is really truly asking you for and why do what you love is a surefire recipe for failure. You're going to get three real world methods for validating your business ideas and I'll show you how to avoid the number one mistake that most business newbies make. We'll lock down a clear actionable plan for you to move forward with your online business. You definitely don't want to miss it. Next though, you've really, really got to wrap your head around this concept, this idea. Again, it's a mindset shift that products and services are solutions to problems. Businesses solve other people's problems and there are thousands and thousands, even millions of problems all around us all day long. Newbie entrepreneurs and creative types alike struggle because they're solving their own problems, not anyone else's problems. The people who they want to have buy from them, their customers, their audience, don't even factor in. They're never even considered beyond, hey, give me money for this thing that I created. The mindset of an employee and an artist is me. Me, 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 what I want, what I can get for myself. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just human nature. But again, in business, it's a completely different world. What's really happening here is potential customers, the folks who have these nagging, difficult, complex problems, well, they're saying the same thing. They're saying, me, 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 my problems, my issues, my struggles, my frustrations. And in this battle of the me, me, me's tug of war, who wins? The artist slash business owner who still has an employee mindset or the potential customer? The customer wins. The customer wins because they get to decide on what they spend their money on, not us business owners. So if you are new to business, if you're just getting started, stop thinking like an employee and stop thinking like an artist. There's nothing wrong with those mindsets. I've said that a number of times, but in the role of a business owner, there is definitely something wrong with those mindsets. I encourage you to start thinking like a true business owner and entrepreneur. Business owners serve their customers' needs first and get their own needs filled second. Let me explain it to you this way. Yes, I have goals. Yes, I have dreams. Yes, there are things that I want in this life for myself. But I can't get those things until I solve enough problems for other people to get compensated for the solutions that I create for them. Well, then I can turn around and buy all the crazy stuff that I want. That's how it works in entrepreneur land. True entrepreneurs are problem solvers. They guide, they serve, they teach. It's almost like a mentor role, right? And those who can do this very, very well wind up getting their needs filled very, very well. This could be one of the most important videos I've ever put together. This is why small businesses fail so often. This is exactly the crux of the issue. So my friend, next, let's really get moving in your online business workshop. There's a ton of info and clarity headed your way. Bring a notepad. Let's shift that mindset. I'll see you over there next.